We're getting a trilogy fight, Brian. Yeah, people forget about the first one. Um, <laughs> I also want to mention before we get into this betting segment, we've had a pretty good track record on this show. Um, What's the record? We I, I don't know what the, we have to actually tally this up. And this is not going to be one of the shows where like, oh, we're going to do it and then we don't do it. No, I'm actually going to go do the work and tally this up at some point. Uh, I just won't promise that it'll be within the next seven days of when you're hearing this. But regardless, we got Brandon Figueroa versus Mark Maxayo. Both of us picked Brandon Figueroa on points that did happen. We both picked Subriel Matias to stop Jeremias Ponce. We um, killed that one, by the way. We, we killed we, that one. We bo- You picked between rounds five and eight. I picked knockout between round one and six, and he got it on round five, in round five. Yeah. So we both got hit plus 250 or whatever it was like with that. I've made a good amount of money. Uh, well, I don't bet a ton of money, but like I made a good amount considering what I put down off Subriel Matias uh, that night. And also Jamal James, who won on points. Um, we both got John Jones beating Cyril Gan, mm. right? Yeah, um, we did. I also said, take a flyer on John Jones by submission. You did. And he, <laughs> he hadn't subbed anyone for how, like that was wild. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm missing another hit that we both got. But regardless, and, you know, there are a couple misses. Like, we both had Ray Vargas over Shaki Foster, Jake Paul, Tommy Fury. We're not going to talk about it. But for the most part, we've done quite well on this show in terms of picks. Um, Neither of us are, like, professional handicappers, but we know how to make good betting content. And we know how to give you some well-thought-out analysis to help you make your decisions. We're not claiming to be experts, but, uh, well, in, in terms of betting, but in terms of uh, the actual content portion of this, yeah, we know what the fuck we're doing. Yeah, and honestly, when we do give you this betting content, money usually be green. Like money, motherfucker. Money be green. Money feel like money. That shit look green to you. All right. Also, before we get into the betting content, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and follow us on our social media channels. It's at the mandatory TKO, only one spot. We're on TikTok, Twitter, and IG. That's where you'll be able to find a lot of our content other than on YouTube. And I got to say, leave a rating review. You got five minutes. You don't even got to leave a review. Just hit that five star. Or four. You know. I'll take the review. You, you could you could say you could say something very simple about the show. Yeah, it's fine. Something good though, you know. Yeah. Great analysis. Chantel's pretty. Whatever. No. Like I don't give a shit. Yeah, or yeah, you, yeah. You could just you, be like, it's you, dope, or something like that. You, you know bring what I mean? the cavemen out. I, you know, what I'm saying. I what? haven't seen that yet. You know, <laughs> you know, but you know what? Go, we have go through the comments. It's fine. Anyways, I'm. I just want to get to the betting now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting the trilogy fight leon edwards kamara usman three edwards is the dog plus 196 brian usman minus 260 uh, straight up on the money line who do you have winning this fight and how so before in the last fight if we recall kamara usman was up i believe on all three scorecards it was pretty much dominating that fight i had it three rounds to one at the yeah. time uh, of the head kick knockout that Leon Edwards got out of nowhere, legitimately for me, the knockout of the year in mixed martial arts last year. And he did that with less than 60 seconds to spare in the fight. It was in the final round, the final minute, boom, head kick. Um, the way he set it up also was beautiful. It was a little faint that just opened that spot up and just found it. It was awesome, right? And that was at a time where there were questions about whether or not Leon Edwards was capable of pulling off the subset. And we're sort of back there again because people think that Kamara Usman is going to win this fight. Um, he's not as much of a favorite in this third round as he was last time out, but he's still favorite to win this fight. And for me, I've been leaning Kamara Usman on points if he can make it to the final round, final uh, yeah. portion of this this time at plus 115. But on the Action Network preview where we do our MMA prop squad stuff, um, and we're looking at long shot bets. So we're trying to get that return on investment, right? We're looking at plus 400 or higher. For me, I actually put down Kamara Usman by submission as something. Ooh, I like that on, one. To something to sprinkle on, which right now is plus 1700. When I saw it on DraftKings yesterday, it was plus 1400. Um, FanDuel has it plus 1700. Kamara Usman surprisingly has one win by submission, right? In his whole career. He's 20 and one with one win by submission. And the, the one win by submission was in the Ultimate Fighter finale in like 2015 or something like that. But the reason why I think it's worth a sprinkle is because 
there's got to be more of a concerted effort to keep Leon Edwards on the ground. There were no takedown attempts last time from Kamar Usman. None. I looked this up, right? And I think that in doing so, he can use his wrestling and be able to get some submission attempts there. So not takedown attempts. I meant submission attempts. And be able to utilize some submission attempts in order to get this win. So I think that he ultimately wins on points. I would sprinkle on the submission, both at plus odds right now. So I would say go grab that. Yeah, this fight, it's crazy because you kind of broke it down. Leon Edwards, the timing of it was crazy. And I want to go back to that knockout because this wasn't a knockout where, you know, the ref came in and was like, oh, st stop the fight. Kamar Usman was tucked in for a nap. He was out cold. So I go back to him. I think he's turning 36 pretty soon. Getting knocked out like that, how much does it take off your career? In that fight, I gave Leon Edwards the first round. And then just like you, Brian, I had Usman up 3-1 on the cards heading into the fifth. Edwards set it up perfectly. Edwards, he puts his shots together really well. He's a really good kickboxer. Nice yep. kicks. Agile on his feet. Moves around really well. And the one thing about Edwards that I've seen throughout, you know, the flurry of his fights that I went back to watch, he's improved a ton with his striking, grappling. So the fact that he's got the belt, it's hard for me to be like, yo, he's going to lose it again. But Kamara Usman, is this just a one-off? That's my only question. Is Are this you going to zag no, and, ta and take the champion to retain the title? I, well, you you got to let me finish here because here, here's, the, here's the thing. Like, Usman, the way that he got knocked out, that that's not a regular knockout, Brian. He was out like I, his eyes were, you know, all over the place. Yeah. It was insane. And he has the power, Usman, you know, wrestling wise. I'm going to give him the edge. He's physically hard. He's really hard to stun. But Edwards did that. And he's never going to get tired. Like his stamina is crazy. I used to say that he has a chin, but we just saw what happened with Edwards. Uh, but I think Usman will try to get him onto the ground. He's going to try to control Edwards against the cage. And I think he's going to let his hands go because he was letting his hands go. And I think he got a little bit too confident in that fifth round because he was up on the cards. And I think Usman, I'm going to play it safe, okay? Because I think it was a one-off. I really do think it was a one-off that he got knocked out by Leon Edwards. So I'm going to take him on points. On FanDuel, it's a plus 116, so I'm going to keep it safe. A little bit of value there, right? Plus 116? Yeah, absolutely. So I like him on points because I think the only way Edwards wins is if he knocks him out again. And I just don't know if he can get that knockout again. But if you wanted to sprinkle on Leon Edwards getting the knockout, it's a plus 500 yeah. on FanDuel. That's the only way that I think Leon Edwards wins. And that the only way that I think he does get knocked out is if Kamar Usman is being hesitant. Right, Because once you get knocked out and you get knocked out like that, my whole thing is what does it do to you mentally? Are you ever going to be the same again? Like we've seen fighters get knocked out and they haven't ever been the same again. So I'm really curious to see how Kamara Usman looks in this fight, but I think it's going to be the same blueprint as last time. But he might be a little bit more careful. So I like Kamara Usman on points at plus 116. There's some value there, but if you're feeling a little bit risky and you're thinking Edwards can knock him out again, plus 500 crazy yeah. value there. Yeah, and I think, I was going to say, there's some real, like, I thought about that because yeah. of what you're talking about. Not necessarily the age, but that is a factor. But also, it was one of those significant knockouts that you wonder if all of a sudden Kamaru Usman gets a little chinny from that and Leon Edwards is able to finish him and potentially finish him early, right? Because once you get knocked out, it's easier to knock you out from that point on. It doesn't matter the, the the sport, the combat sport, the discipline. Once you get a concussion, easier to get a concussion from that point on, right? Um, Kamara Usman double chance is an interesting bet by submission or on points of minus 110. But Leon Edwards, if you do think he's going to win by knockout, you have that at plus 500. I, I agree that I don't. he's not going to tap out <laughs> Kamara yeah. Usman. I'd be surprised if Leon Edwards did that. I also don't think he's going to win on points. I feel like Kamar Usman, like he's a workhorse. He's going to bank rounds. He's going to put the pressure on him. But there is something to, like, I'm fascinated by the wrestlers who get into UFC, discover they have hands, and then all of a sudden they want to start knocking people out in boxing. Yeah. Where I feel like they should use their wrestling more so. Like Tyron Woodley fell into this trap, and then he kept getting knocked out. Kept getting knocked out. Kept getting knocked out. And... This tends to happen with Duke. Colby Covington is another one where yeah. like you don't feel like he uses his wrestling enough and 
probably uses his mouth too much, among other things. But, like, I wonder if Kamara Usman sort of gets away from that now having been knocked out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and going back to Kobe Covington, it wasn't a close fight, but that would probably be the closest fight with him and Kamara Usman, where mm. you're like the maybe the closest fight that he could have almost lost, but no, because he won that fight. But mm. I know there's some people that are like, remember Kobe was like, I won that fight. Yeah, no, he didn't. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know, no, he he de he definitely did it. But this one is so intriguing because they also haven't fought since August. There's a huge layoff in between this fight. And we're getting the rematch. We're getting the trilogy. And coming into this one, Edwards has a lot of confidence. I just think Kamara Usman, what we've seen from him, he's so good. He was dominating that fight leading yeah. into that fifth round. But the way Edwards set that up, could he set it up again? In order for him to win, I think he has to. I just don't know if it happens again. Like, it was perfect timing. Yeah. It was immaculate. So Unless, unless, to your point, and what we were saying, unless Kamara Usman all of a sudden is a little bit easier to drop, and then Edwards could potentially do some damage with volume and not just with one shot. I go back to, and I'm going to make a boxing reference, but Miguel Burchell. Sure. Ne never the same again. Yeah. Right. He came back in his fight and I'm like, dude, what's going on? One of my favorite boxers. And I just, it, it changes you when you get knocked out like that, dude. And Kamara Usman was out. He was tucked in for a nap. It was bye-bye. I was freaking out on Twitter. I remember. I Because I, we had never seen him get knocked out like that before. Yo, Age yeah. factor is huge, I think, as well. Yeah, and you mentioned Raquel Burchell. I would also throw in Vivian Harris, another mm -hmm. uh, diehard probably boxing reference, uh, who once he got knocked out, he just kept getting knocked out over and over and over again. There are a lot of examples of this in boxing and even MMA. We mentioned Tyron Woodley. Yeah. Uh, you know what Never I mean? Never the same, like, dude. Kept getting knocked out, knockout after knockout. Ben and Askren to some extent, right? Like, yeah. even though the, the flying knee was probably like, that's again. But similarly, right? That's a one-shot KO out of nowhere. Nobody expected. I want to see how Usman looks. Yeah, because getting right. knocked out here's another thing too getting knocked out at 26 compared to getting knocked out at 35 is different mm -hmm. that's totally different so we want to know at the mandatory who you're going to be taking drop some comments below let us know if you're going to roll with leon edwards or kamara usman does he get his revenge and how do you think this trilogy fight is going to go? Drop some comments below. Also, make sure to hit us up as well on our social media platforms. If you have any thoughts, it's at the Manajori TKO. And we're going to be bringing you some more betting as well. But enjoy the trilogy fight with Leon Edwards and Kamara Usman.